Hello and welcome along to Mondo Chalivet Movies. My name is John and as you can see I'm on shelf two today. I thought I'd just have a bit of a change and I'm going to unbox a parcel from my good friend Michael Hewitt who sent me a parcel the other day and Michael has sent me some great stuff over the past months and maybe a year and I was lucky enough to meet Michael at the start of this year and we had a great time in the Metro Centre and hopefully we can meet again pretty soon. It was great to chat to him and we had such a good time actually and it was we spent a full day together and uh, hopefully that'll happen again like i say quite soon so i'm going to open this up and take a look and see exactly what michael has sent me this time around the way it, uh, shelf two is this is right on the edge of the bed and usually what i do is to break the fourth wall i'll unbox here and i put the stuff over there i put them in piles but of course there's no bed there it's kind of finished and if i move that way you kind of don't see the shelves so what i'll do is i'll probably have to put the stuff to one side but it'll be on the floor just to make you think that what's he doing okay so there's a note here so the note says hi john i hope you are well here are some more slip covers for you i know at least one of them you don't have as in i have also enclosed a few blu-rays for you oh ha Wow, I'll go with the slip covers first. So nurse, scalpel, thank you. Expertly packaged as always. So I'm not looking at them, hopefully the, the right way around. So first up is, that's the one that uh, Michael said. I think I'll have to swap them around there. Taken three, well what I'll do is, as I always do, I will put these to one side and if there's any on my collection that will will go over the actual Blu-ray. I'll show you what they look like at the end of the, uh, the the video. So first up is Taken 3. Yes, I don't have that one. I know it's it's up there, actually. I usually say it's up here, but uh, this side, Shelf 2 is more, mainly for uh, 4Ks and horror. So that's Taken 3, Extended Harder Cut. Haven't watched any of those yet, which is a bit, <laughs> bit mad. Right, I'm just going to put this round here, so I think I'll hopefully get these the right way round for your cells right wow next up is ah predators funny enough i was thinking about this franchise the other day thinking to myself i haven't i've only got predator and i used to have alien versus predator in the, the second one that's next door my son's got that one and i was thinking of maybe revisiting some of these in the future and this one did is one of the ones I, I do need to go back and look at some of these ones because i know that i love the first one and i haven't went any further with it but uh now i can sort of see what this is these are all about so i put this one in my cx pile also robert rodriguez great director i find i like his uh, movies next up is ah weirdly enough i've been looking at leonardo dicaprio's internet movie database and saying what he's been doing recently not much by this but this is uh who is it yeah it's um yes it's baz lerman who has just recently directed one of my favorite movies of this year elvis so this was going to be a one where i thought you know this might be something that might be worth a watch and here's here's the slip so this will be a, this will be a really good pickup for me and uh mainly on the fact that that was my first ever baz lerman movie that i saw elvis and i really enjoyed it so I'll be interested to see what they make of this. I have seen the first Great Gatsby a long time ago. I remember quite liking it. So that's the Great Gatsby. Put that down the CX pile. Next up is... Ah, uh, no, oh, actually, wow, Titanic. Now, I have got this. I have got the slip cover in it, but the slip cover was really damaged when I got it. It's actually like, <laughs> believe it or not, water damaged. Boom, boom. Can you believe it? So this one will be an instant upgrade. Wow, Titanic. Next up is, oh, as you know, I've just got Paddington 2 from Dave Ramsden. And this is, I was thinking about that the other day, thinking I bet you I can never get the, sl the slip cover, well, one with a slip cover on a Paddington, because obviously I want to watch Paddington first. I've heard a lot of people say good things about this, and it's got a great cast, actually. Julie Walters, big fan of Julie Walters. I think she's so funny, especially when she works with um, Victoria Wood. 
absolutely brilliant. Actually, I watched the full, the full, what was put together on um, YouTube with Acorn Antiques. It was brilliant. One of the best things I've seen in a long time. So, yeah, really interested to see these two. Paddington, that's CX. Next up is, now, Justice League. I think this is the, the one that was before the new Justice League, the the not the remake but the reworking of it now i think matthew my son has got this one or i don't think i've got it and i don't think i've seen this one actually but i know that i really liked the way that they changed this and the thing that put me off about this movie was um his strange tash thing i don't know if this is the one i think it is yeah so might might uh might take a look at this one and see what i think of the the other version of Justice League, I would imagine it's there quite cheap these days. But I really enjoyed the second one. It looked fantastic as well, but a bit long. So that's Justice League, CEX pile. Next up is... <laughs> Actually, my son has definitely got this. But I don't know if he's got the slipcover in it. But yeah, he's, he's definitely got it because I remember seeing it just I've been in his room recently. And saw this one. So that'll be a one for my son. So I'll be in my son's pile there. Next up is... Oh, look at that. <laughs> wow, look at that slipcover. That's amazing. Unbelievable, actually, how that catches the light. Now, I don't know anything about this movie, and I do know that uh, there's a, another version of the host, but it's completely different, this one, and all that. And, uh, yeah. What a, what a slip... Actually, that's one of the best zip covers for doing that that I've seen. Been intriguing to see what this movie is about. So that's the host. What a slip cover. Next up is Ah Bridesmaid. Now I've got this. I thought this film was great. Mainly because of uh, Kirsten Wig. She's brilliant. I like the cast actually. The cast is really good. Although Deborah couldn't stand this movie. So I said to her after this movie, I said, what do you think of that? It was good, wasn't it? She said, no, didn't like it. And every time I mention it to say, would you ever watch that again? Don't you talk to me about that movie. She's not offended by it. She said she didn't like it at all. So, well, there you go. But I do not think I've got the slip on this. I know it's up there somewhere. And I'll have to have a look at that. But uh, I don't think it's, it's a great slip, actually, that. Yeah, so that's Bridesmaids. I think it's, I think they're going to do a Bridesmaids too. CX pile. Well, actually not. That's an upgrade pile. Next up is... Uh -huh. Now, the X-Men movies, which are over there, I think. Yes, they are. I'm seeing. I know I've got a few of these with... I've got them all, actually, in Blu-ray. But I don't know if I've got them on with all of slipcovers. I know I've got some with slipcovers, but not all of them. So I'll, uh, I'll have a look at that and uh, see if that's one that I need to put a slipcover on. Yeah, weirdly enough, I've only watched two, three of the X-Men movies. And I've got the whole lot of them. I need to get into watching the rest of them. It's just because they're such a, a bit of a strange, you know, that just all over the place, really far timelines. It puts me off sometimes to go and get them. But I will get around to them one day, he says. That'll go in my possible upgrades pile. Next up is, oh, actually, now, I don't I don't think I've got this. I think I've got it, but I don't think I've got this one in slipcover. This is brilliant, actually, because uh, it'd be great to finish these all off. I know I've got some of them, and some of them I haven't. So I'll put that in my possible upgrades pile. I know I've got the movie, though. Next up is, <laughs> oh, is that, uh, I don't know. So that's the same movie, but what I've noticed is, actually, this is the 3D slip, because I thought, wow, I didn't know they had like different slips on, but it's for the 3D movie, 3D version, shall I say. Hmm, be interesting to see which one I've got. So next up is, well, these. this is great to have this, because I know that I ha the summer hat, like I say, I've, I've got some, I haven't got some of them, and uh, this will be one that I'll, I'll definitely, well, you'll see at the end of it, as to how that helped me out. Brilliant. Next up is, <laughs> now this is, I'll have to, I'm going to check these all out 
and see exactly what I've got. And also, if I've got them from Poundland, they should be in good quality. But if I've got them from the likes of uh, CEX, they could be actually garbage, like Titanic was, water damaged. So that'll go on my upgrade pile. So next up is... Oh, Noah. There's a great picture on this one as well, I remember. Is this um, anything to do with... As if I'm going to read that. I was thinking this is something to do with Ridley Scott. It might not be. But anyway, so Noah, yeah. Great casting there. I'm sure I haven't got that one. Brilliant. I put that in my possible upgrades pile. And lastly is... Ah, now, we have I got this one? I think I might have. I'm not too sure about that. I know I've seen them. No, I think I've definitely got this one because I've watched them. I did. I watched them on Sky Movies. I'm not too sure. I'll put that in my upgrade pile. So this, I've got quite a good pile here on ones I can get. But actually, there's a lot more slips there that I can know I can go straight on the movies. And I'll show you exactly what they're like at the end of the movie. Where's me ladders? At the end of the movie, at the end of the video, there's two Blu rays here. So the first Blu ray is wrapped up well. Am I going to ask the nurse for the scalpel in this one? No, I think I can guess. Actually, I can see out the window. So sometimes when there's stuff flying around, I get a bit distracted. So, the first movie that uh, Michael has sent on Blu-ray, if I can get the right way around, is... Now, Journey to the West, Conquering the Demons, from Stephen Chow, director of Kung Fu Hustle. I love Kung Fu Hustle. I love Stephen Chow's stuff. It's absolutely brilliant. He should get much more recognition, because the stuff he does is absolutely it blows people away the way that uh, he presents his stuff he's such a visionary director now weirdly enough i've never even heard of this movie and i'm i'm such a big fan i do go looking for his stuff but i haven't even come across this one didn't even know it existed which makes it even more at region eight locked probably something that uh and deborah i think she has seen kung fu hustle and she thought she wasn't going to like it because it seemed to be a bit brutal at the start of it, but it's not not that bad. And she, uh, well, that's great, isn't it? Journey to the West. He doesn't seem to release that many movies, but the ones he does is always amazing. This is a great cover as well. Ah, Magnet. Yeah, I've got a few things off John Hall on Magnet label. But, wow. This is, this is something I'm really interested in uh, checking out. So that's Journey to the West. And lastly... But not leastly. So this is. Oh, wow. Monsters University. Now, we thought that this. Is it Monsters Inc? The first one, yeah. We thought it was absolutely brilliant. And we're big fans of these movies. I'm a, I'm a huge fan. I always have been a huge fan of these, uh, these movies. And they do look amazing on Blu-ray. I mean, they do. They look great on 4K. Don't get us wrong, but sometimes movies like this are more than adequate to get on uh, Blu-ray. And so this is the second one, I believe. I think this three is now, and that's a lovely slip that 3D Blu-ray as well. I don't know if anybody else has this well problem, but you see uh, on my previous uh, Blu-ray player, it was from Panasonic quite a while ago. This. When you put a 3D disc in, even when you're watching the 2D version, I remember Hugo and Dread were bad for this. You used to kind of hear it changing gears, tick, 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 all the time. And it was really off-putting. And I love Dread, but Dread is 3D. Uh, Dread is 3D on Blu-ray in the UK. And when you watch it, you get that sort of gear going. Now, I've watched all the other ones that I've watched. That I've watched, uh, checked out a few movies that have the Blu-ray version on me 4K player, and I don't get that sort of noise. Has anybody else found that that's a thing? But amazing that. Two great movies there. I'm going to say this is great, because I know it's going to be great, because everything I've seen by him is absolutely brilliant. I don't even know what year this is from. So let's see what the slipcovers I've got 
from Michael fit on the stuff that I've got on the shelves. So first up on the slip covers is Batman, Dawn of Justice. Now, I knew Matthew didn't have this cover, and he doesn't, but he does have this cover. So this cover isn't going to go over the top of that one. This is the lenticular one. I didn't even know he had this one. I know him and the Debs went to see it. This is cinema and they both, so it was a bit, well, kind of, but it was what it is. But I, I do like that cover, but that, I can understand why he went for that one. He probably, if I said to him, why did he go for that one? He'd probably say, I can't remember why. Yeah. So, and also, weirdly enough, this one here, I have got it. Now you can see it's exactly the same version, two pound, and it's not even opened. So it shows you, like I said, I haven't went to these movies yet, but I've done very well with the X-Men movies. So I put that one down there. So the ones that I like getting a solid upgrade are, as I said, and I'll show you, I'll take you through these ones. Titanic, excellent cover in mint condition, of course. This is the one that I got way back when or whenever it was. And there you can see, I don't know if you can see it there, I don't know if it will show up. But this uh, has got some serious water damage. It's, uh, it's at the top there. I can't see see on this one yeah you can see that what a mess that is so that's a definite upgrade so that will go off there and michael's will just slip over the top there and it will be it's exactly the same version as well love this film as well let's see the pictures twice there you go so that's the slip cover in perfect condition so that's titanic next up is noah I knew I had this movie. Actually, I thought I might have had the cover, but I didn't. So, an amazing one to get this on an upgrade in the cover. It was only £2 as well. Lovely cover, that. So, that's no. I like big uh, writing on the side, as you can see. Wow. Next up is, now, Bridesmaids. When I looked at this, I thought, I might have this with a slipcover, because I know the slipcover, I'm very familiar with it, and I have passed it up in CEX a lot of times, thinking I did have the slipcover. So I thought I might have had to say, look, I've already got this one. But I didn't. This has definitely come from Blockbuster. Does everyone remember when you used to go to Blockbuster, and for some reason, I don't know if it's in your local Blockbuster, you used to write on there, this this um, marker pen so they can locate the disc, which I don't understand why I used to do that. So that tells me this came from Blockbuster. Like I say, I have, I have a great time in this movie, but the devs kind of stand it. Oh, wow. So that's Bridesmaids. Nice uh, bold writing on the side. Oh, it's all um, embossed as well. Excellent. Make a little watch soon, actually. Been a long time since I've seen that. Right, here come the X-Men. So first up is X-Men Apocalypse. I thought I had a lot more slips with the X-Men movies, but I didn't. I've done really well with the X-Men stuff here. Actually, I think when I was getting these, I wasn't that really like bothered about slips. Can you believe it? I think they just look more and neater on the shelves with, with slips. So that's X-Men Apocalypse. Next is X-Men First Class. I think the devs had talked about watching these and I'd said, and she said, um, how do you watch them in what order? And I says, to be honest, I don't know. So I'm going to have to look up the order of them ones. So that's a lovely slip as well, that one. X-Men First Class. I know they're going to reboot the whole X-Men thing. Brilliant. Nice slip, that. And next is X-Men Wolverine. X-Men Origins Wolverine. I think all the other ones I've got, maybe apart from the first three, don't have slips on. I'm not going to put that in. So there you go. That's the ones that I've got with the X-Men. So not bad at all, eh? And as Michael said, he knew I had taken three, but without a slip, so he's helped me out with that. I do like Liam Neeson 
And uh, actually, I was going to watch Taken the other day, but I never did. But I, I will definitely watch these ones. Nice on the shelf there. And lastly, I thought I might have this one, and I did have it. This, Jack Reacher, Never Go Back. I do think these movies are great, these two movies. And there you go. This was one of the ones where I didn't like Tom Cruise at all, but now I do. And I'm glad I went and actually, you know, got into Tom Cruise. Because if I didn't, I think I would have missed out some good movies, especially the Mission Impossible ones. And obviously, Top Gun Maverick. So yeah, so look at them. That is all the slips that Michael has helped me out with. They'll go back on the shelf and they just look that extra little bit of quality to them, I find. I mean, some movies don't have slips, and that's just the way it is. But when I have a slip, I just like to have the slips on. I just think it finishes them off really nicely. So thanks once again to Michael for sending these to me. Absolutely brilliant. Really interested to see what this one's like. And uh, I've done really well with the slips. And also, I've got some great slips there to go and visit CX and even HMV. Actually, you can see some in HMV. And I don't have a slip on, but you can put the slip on from uh, the stuff I've received. So thanks for watching. You take care, especially you, Michael, and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.